Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Biosphere 2. We're coming to you live from Biosphere 2's rainforest. We're on the mountain today, and we're gonna talk a little bit about this mountain. We're on the second level, actually. It has three levels, and it's an artificially created mountain. A lot of people come in and say, oh, it looks like you just built Biosphere 2 right over the features that were already here. Well, this mountain was not here. We built it. It was modeled on some of the, uh, what, what are called the Tepui formations that you find in South America, along the border between Venezuela and Brazil. You find them in the rainforest. And they're really unique areas down in South America. They have a lot of endemic species of plants and animals on them. One of the things that we'd hoped to do when we built this mountain in here was create one of those kind of endemic places for different species up on top. Well, one of the things that we maybe didn't take into account completely was that inside of a glass building, we were going to get really hot. It's like a greenhouse in here, and it gets really hot the higher up you go. In normal rainforests, well, the higher up you go, it gets cooler. In here, it's not quite the same because the glass catches the radiation and then sends it down as, as long wave radiation, so it gets hot up there. We have a tremendous heat inversion in here, and the higher up you go, gets really hot. Up there on top of that mountain, well, we wanted to put unique species that, are, that, are, that normally inhabit what are known as cloud forests. Cloud forests are areas really high up in the mountains, really cool, they're watered basically by the clouds directly. So they have a lot of unique species, but species that tend to enjoy lower temperatures and high humidity. Well, up there we get high temperatures Humidity does drop down somewhat during the day. So unfortunately, a lot of those species up there were lost and, were take, and the area was taken over by what you might find in other places inside of Biosco 2. Up there on top, you can hit, in about this time of day, you can hit a heat index of about 125. If you go up closer to the glass, well, it gets up closer to about 150. So we don't use that real area much up there for um, things like that because it's really intolerable when you go up there. We, don't, we try to get any work up there done really early in the morning so that uh, we can stay out of there the rest of the day because it gets really warm up there. Um, today we use this mountain for several things. It, is the, uh, it, it houses the shed, the, the, uh, the building that we built in for all of our research equipment that we used recently for our walled experiment where we studied this ecosystem as a whole under drought. And the second, the, the second level that we're on inside, there's not a lot in there. We can use it for whatever we need as a large area to look at um, plants, samples, materials, things like that when we need to. And the upper area, not much goes on up there. There, is, there are two small ponds on the upper level, and usually we have a waterfall going down it. It's off right now, but we'll hopefully get it going back um, soon when we're able to do. So that's kind of what this mountain is all about. Again, it's an artificial, um, an artificial structure. It's modeled again on those Tepui formations, sandstone formations that you find in South America. And it provides a unique um, aspect, one of the most unique aspects inside Biosphere 2. The, the only the unfortunate thing about this mountain is it's kind of built here in the middle of Biosphere 2. So it kind of takes up some of the area that we might be able to use for prime uh, real estate for tree canopies because it takes up the highest area inside of Bias for Two's rainforest, but nonetheless provides a, a unique experience and a really spectacular view when you first come in. So that's really what this rainforest mountain is all about and um, hope you enjoyed our, our time here and let us know if you have any questions.